Hello everybody and welcome to this new video of digital painting with Krita. In the last video we learned how to create a good setup to work with perspective. We learned how to use the vanishing point assistant, parallel ruler and just a couple of tricks for dividing the surface in perspective. Remember all those funny lines? You haven't watched the video, here you have a card and a link in the description. I'm not gonna repeat everything because repeating is no fun for other watchers, you know. We also learned how to save this setup to be used in another image later. So now is the moment. Now we are going to draw a beautiful house like this. And during the process, we are going to learn three tricks to solve three common issues we can find in our drawings. Oh, and they are also useful on paper. This is our goal for today. So are you ready? Because here we go. Okay, so here we go. First thing I do is just to uh, planify a bit the building structure. So I'm creating just like a cube and a roof for that building. And I use a lot the diagonals to find the center of the parallel. And you can see here, the first tip is how to create a window reflected in perspective so i put these lines to create the bottom part and upper part and I, this is the axis that i'm going to use and then i project this point through the axis and i have one point i do it again <laughs> and now i just have two points that i can just project in perspective Go to my layer for drawing and I have my window in perspective. And this is exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm using the same thing in my drawing. Now I'm creating more building stuff and I decide to detail a bit the windows. Um, sadly, these are not the final windows because I decided to erase them because I was not happy with them. You will see later in the video. And this is something that happens a lot. You create something, but hmm, it's not quite good. So finally you end up erasing it. I'm detailing a bit the sailing. And now it's time for creating the detail on the windows. And I left this part because I see that it's interesting to see how project thins when depth is involved. I erase things, I erase uh, a lot because I don't want to draw these twice. And also these little gaps in the, in the drawing help me to um create like more organic feel it's not a perfect line everywhere there is um, some parts that are more rusted or you know more organic it's like this it's a perfect cube but then i decide to detail it a bit now i create these rocks to just add a bit of decorative effect and then I realized that the window is <laughs> too much on the right side. Um, so I don't like it. I would like to know your opinion about perspective in Krita if you are happy or you need something else because more things are coming in Krita for the future. Now I'm creating the rocks and we have to be very careful because rocks are not uh, equal one from another so here we go and not detailing too much in distance if you follow me on social media you know i love flowers and nature so i remember being on holidays in a townhouse like this and be surrounded by flowers <laughs> and yes it's a really good feeling so i decided to create a very basic flower pot to include some of them 
I go to the left side and I start detailing the stone bank. It's very common in these houses to have a seat like this, it's made of a stone, and notice that I try to destroy a bit the perfect lines created with the assistance. I left this part to tell you something important. If you don't like it, erase it. Embrace the erasing is not your enemy. I review a bit the surroundings to check if everything is correct. And then I want to create a mosaic created with uh, stone tiles. And here comes another tip, mosaics. We need to create a mosaic. Um, my first idea was to create a mosaic of stones. So I make these uh, measure lines and project to the horizontal line. And then I go with these points, which are located all in the same side of the plane. So I can go to the vanishing point and then I have these points which help me to find the projected points that I'm going to use to create the lines to converge in, in the vanishing point of the left. And now I created the diagonal just to find these points where cross the diagonal, the previous lines and now if I project these lines, then I have my division 5 by 5. I hope this helps you in your creation because it's really useful. And we use a lot a two-point perspective. So now we have to continue. And this is only to show you the final result. So now you can see how I'm doing the, the same thing, but really, really fast, speed up. It's really easy to create something like this in mosaic. But sometimes we see something like this and you say, hmm, maybe it's not what I want. And then I decide to create like more rustic effect with uh, rocks and then I erase the mosaic behind. But the rocks are located in perspective since I use the mosaic to place them. And now it's time for the sailing. Also, you can use the assistant tool to find the perspective here, and this can create grids that can be like this, which is a perfect square divided uh, eight by eight, and we can just change this in perspective and you can see how the vanishing point, which is located here, is following the grid. And why is this useful for? Because if I have a, like a window, or a window like this, or a door, in my drawing, I can project this because I can use the perspective and also the grid count. So now it's located in the right place even being in perspective. Imagine I want to create some lines uh, using the diminution principle. Um, they have to be like decreasing in size and I can do in two different ways. I can use my pressure and put this, something like this, in pressure with size. And then 
I can control by pressing less and less and less but this is not really easy okay we can do it faster but the results may be not predictable and maybe you need something like this okay so what can I do then I can go to the size and go to the perspective and active this uh, parameter here and disable the pressure apparently nothing happens here but you can see how now if I try to create a line automatically is vanishing in distance okay so I can create lines and I can be very confident that my size here and here is going to be the same okay I can create things faster and I can create things respecting what will be this right size in the perspective now you can see how I use the perspective assistant to create the lines for the roof tiles I will finish them later yes I need to give it give them a bit uh, old feeling not so new roof tiles and I project the heights from the left side to the front side and I do some and I do the same for the glasses oh man here I am detailing a bit the good parts of the windows and I continue adding more detail now it's time for the fireplace very fast I just start to add details here and there to give a more finished look like the wood texture a bit later and now is when I decide to delete the windows and remake them I use the mirror technique explained before and I focus my attention to get the right feeling they are modern windows to protect the people living there in winter and <laughs> believe me I know what I'm talking about now I'm finishing adding some details here and there to give it a bit of atmosphere and then I hope you like it this is your townhouse to enjoy nature and enjoy life as you have seen there is a lot of power inside the perspective techniques so are you really enjoying these videos because i would like to know your opinion if you have more ideas or whatever please let me know in the comment Krita 5 is in development but it's going to bring us a lot of interesting things would you be there with us on the journey we need more funds to support Krita and make it even better its day go here if you want to be a supporter Meanwhile, you can enjoy the Krita next release if you are familiar with beta testing. And yes, please, if you enter this area, make a backup of your files and user folder. And remember, if you have beta testing related issues, you are more than welcome in kritaartist.org because reports are good, okay? And that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned a couple of things at least. Now it's time to smash the subscribe button and yes, I know you listen this a lot. But please active the notification bell to help Krita to be promoted and suggested by YouTube. That means a lot already. See you in the next video. Bye.